You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're here at the Alton Towers Resort for the final weekend of the 2022 season. So we've got the three days of fireworks and they'll be ending on Sunday the 6th of November. We're really excited to see the show. We did film the construction update down here on the lawns just a couple of days ago. And yes, tonight is the night. It's the Friday. The weather is absolutely Lovely perfect. Today. And we're so excited for the show. Oh, I can't wait. We know that it's going to be featuring drone technology this year as well, as over 100 drones are used over Alton Towers as part of the storyline. It's going to be a 30 minute show featuring lots of pyrotechnics, fireworks, lighting, on. screens. Visually I think this is going to be really impressive. I can't wait for it. Now in this vlog we'll first have another little look at the finished setup here on the lawns. We'll show you the leaflet that gives you information for if you are going to be visiting across the weekend and then we'll get on some rides before coming back here later on for the start of the entertainment. Definitely. Well yeah the weather is looking good today. Gorgeous so blue skies, no wind. It's the perfect day for fireworks. Really looking forward to this tonight. While the tower's ruins are looking as gorgeous as ever on the other side of the lake, and look at this huge setup. We've got the stage just over there, the four trusses and Jubilee fireworks still bringing in pyro for this show. Yes. What have we got here then, Charlotte? Right, so between five and six, we've got Ignition, which is gonna be like a little concert, really, with like Alton Towers performance on, which would be really nice. Between six and seven, we've got the special guest DJ set by Relentless. So we've got like music, which would be really good. And then between 7 and 7.30, we've got the ultimate fireworks spectacular. Yeah, that sounds interesting because normally the show is between 20 and 25 minutes. They're advertising it 30. Yeah, which is really good. Yeah, definitely. And then we've got the DJ again between 7.30 and 7.45. So this is very similar to last year. And what I really like about this is the fact that things are starting from 5 o'clock uh, all the way through until quarter to 8. You know, so you're getting nearly three hours of entertainment before there was some music playing, but there was no actual entertainment to watch other than the show. So yeah, I'm really pleased. They've kept the stage on here again. And we're going to be seeing the DJ and a bit of a show to warm up. It's probably like dance show last year, wasn't it? It was really good. I really enjoyed it. Now, once again, much like last year, all of the lawns have been covered over. The weather's perfect today for the Friday. I don't think it's going to be as dry on the next couple of days, especially Sunday. But the good thing is, if you are coming to Alton Towers, they put all this flooring down. Um, so, yeah, you don't need to think about wellies and stuff like that. It stops your feet from getting muddy. Yeah, it must cost Alton Towers quite a bit of money to put this down. But it's definitely worth it. Also, this year, it's worth pointing out that chairs aren't permitted on the lawns for the show if you were going to be no, bringing so them. can't bring them onto here. Yeah, definitely. But uh, really excited. There we go. Screens are on Alton Towers Fireworks 2022. Right, we're going to leave the lawns for now. Go and get on a few rides and then we'll come back down here later on, get in position and uh, yeah, also as well have highlights from all the entertainment, including highlights from tonight's Fireworks Spectacular too. And we're starting off here down in X Sector with a ride on the smile. I'll make the most of that single rider queue. To be honest though, main queue is only 40 minutes. But well, yeah, if you don't mind being spoiled from your party, single ride is great on this ride. I wish to bring it back to some of the other coasters here at Alton Towers. Loads of them used to have single rider. But now it is just a smiler. But yeah, we'll make the most of it. We'll have a nice ride on here. Probably gonna be about five, ten minutes maximum. Obviously, if the main queue is only 40, a lot of people would just go for that instead of singles. We'll make the most of it. Look at that lovely blue sky. Gorgeous day. Secret Weapon 7 down here as well. If you saw yesterday's video on the channel, talking all about the potential new indoor roller coaster, I was saying how that could be SW9. Well, yeah, the Smiler was Secret Weapon 7 when it opened nearly 10 years ago now, 2013. Why we just come out of X Sector after our ride there on the Smiler? I was on the back row, so I was half <laughs> sure. I was like, no, 
you go on the back and then I got put on the back as well. Oh, we both it ended up there. Yeah, a single rider. Honest, yeah. Actually, it was good fun. Yeah, that's the thing. I tell you what though, this weather absolutely gorgeous for tonight. Really excited. It's not very busy, is it? It's not. No, I mean, it's not a sellout today. No, it's not a sellout, so nice and quiet. Yeah, like look at this, especially for Fireworks Friday. It's normally a bit busier than this. However, people are at school and work. So I think people tonight will later, they'll come yeah. this, this evening, probably five o'clock. Probably locals and stuff will come a bit later on. Yeah, it's just worth pointing out that Saturday, as in today when we're uploading this video, it's sold it was sold out. Yeah, but so uh, Sunday at the time recording is still available. available yeah. But by the time we've uploaded this, it might not be. So make sure you check out the Alton Towers website and social media channels just in case. <laughs> Beautiful day for filming the coasters here at Alton Towers and obviously it's very fitting especially with the theme of this year's display all being about the big coasters here at the parks. Yeah, really looking forward to that tonight. Of course we'll make our way down to the lawns this afternoon, get in position and yeah, have highlights from the entertainment. But yeah, the storyline all based around the big rides here at the parks. Yeah, looking forward to that. Twenty-five minute wait this afternoon then for thirteen. Yeah, not too bad at all. Obviously, throughout all of our Alton Towers vlogs, always try and give you lots of different tips for if you come in here to the resort. Um, but yeah, obviously, thirteen is back to not operating in the rain again now. So yeah, it might uh, be off quite a bit over the weekend. We'll have to see. Best advice: make sure you join the queue for this before you think the rain's going to be coming in, else you could end up getting queue evac and then you've wasted your time. So yeah, bear that in mind. If you are coming this weekend if it is wet. <laughs> about 20 minutes there for our ride on 13. It's always good getting the coasters in for the final weekend of the season. It is indeed. Oh yeah, the only roller coasters that operate over Christmas here at Alton Towers are Spinball Wizard and the Octonauts Roller Coaster Adventure. So yeah, you've got to make the most of the big rides on the final weekend. We really have. But uh, here we go, what's come out then, especially I've for the event? A special fireworks hat that I bought last year. Oh, it is nice that. We'll have a look in the shop and see if there's any merch. However, we've heard reports that there's no fireworks stuff yet. Yeah, which is really strange. Maybe they just haven't put it out yet. Yeah, maybe it'll come in later on closer to the event but uh, we're not too sure i tell you what though it's getting a bit chilly isn't it, it is getting a bit cold yeah we're all wrapped up though ready for waiting down there on the lawn wicker man there just behind us 40 minute wait uh, he's just going to keep getting busier throughout the day but obviously saturday and sunday are the big days aren't Very they? Big day. uh, and then on sunday itself we're going to be uh, ending that season up at nemesis uh, with a dedicated video to the beast from 1994 through to 2022, uh, of course, before it shuts for its retrack. It's going to be emotional on Sunday. I think it will, but I think it'll be a really good atmosphere. Though. Yeah, I think so. We'll have our last ride Sunday night and also as well capture the atmosphere of the last trains going round, uh, the competition winners as well that are going to be coming up uh, after the last public train. So yeah, it's going to be good to capture that atmosphere. I think it really will be. Up at the Beast, Alton Towers have made a real big thing of it. A lot <laughs> of people are still thinking that now it isn't coming back. Don't worry. It, it is. definitely is. Alton Towers marketing uh, has been pretty poor, yeah, unfortunately, with uh, this one. Yeah, let's hope that uh, that can improve next year because with this one, everybody thinks that it's done forever. I know, but it's not, it's coming back. <laughs> it's really not. Don't worry, folks, it is coming back in 2024. Well, something where the marketing has been fantastic is down here at Jewel. The attraction's been closed for quite some time now for the overhaul. We're missing it so much. We ride Jewel every time we come. I wonder if there's going to be any changes to the exterior just here. It's one of them where, because it's a zombie outside, surely that's going to change. Yeah, I mean, the house itself is beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of blocked off, isn't it? Yeah, back in the day when it was the haunted house, there was just a little gravestone down there. And so I'd like to see this crypt kind of moved out the way so we can see the facade fully again. And obviously, I'm expecting that sign to come down and we'll have a new name for the attraction but there's still not many details it's all very secretive however the marketing has been great for this because obviously they've got the lighting the smoke the visuals uh, if you look through the little peep holes you see a screen with a doll just there and of course the number that you can call up as well saying the property has been repossessed but 
but uh, here we go. Last time seeing this facade out the front in its current state, I'd imagine, before there's at least some changes for next year. Oh, I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, I'm sure we'll find out more over winter, and we'll keep you updated here on Theme Park Worldwide for the major jewel overhaul opening in 2023. Here we go then. Well, we know that something's happening next year to Nemesis Subterra, and as we can see, there's some work happening just over there it now. Is indeed. I wonder what's going on. Oh, that was good timing. I was just going to do a little clip about the Subterra. Oh, there we go. He's got some sort of plans in his hand just there, and they're pointing about what's going to happen. Could we see the drop towers reopen? Is it going to be a scare mage next year? Who knows? Yeah, anything's possible. Hopefully well, something's happening right behind you there, Charlotte. Subterra. Oh, talk about good timing. I love it. Speculation. <laughs> Walking down into Forbidden Valley with the iconic and legendary music playing and seeing the Nemesis Archway, something that we're going to miss next year when the attractions close for its full overhaul. Set to reopen again in 2024 after a full retract. I did film a video not so long ago talking about the exact details because um, obviously the ride will be coming back as we all know and love, but literally just with one extra support which is going to be located just down here. But yeah, we will have a full dedicated video coming up to the channel from Sunday, which will be the final day of Nemesis operation before the attraction, of course, closes for that overhaul. It's not closing for good, it's only an overhaul down here at Nemesis. At this time, Nemesis and that's why it's having some work done. <laughs> at present, we are unsure there she is on the lift, Dale. But hope to be back in operation soon. Thank you for your patience. There she Once is. Again, Nemesis is experiencing a temporary delay and we hope to be back in operation soon. Thank you. We'll come back later. <laughs> Good timing. Oh, there we go. It only took her a few minutes to get back in action. Loaded, we guess, again now. Let's go and have one of our final rides on Nemesis during its current form before that overhaul. I love it when you come down here when full extensions are open. You get this great view, makes you realise how impressive this design of the coaster is. Normally coasters need a massive lift hill and a big first drop. Look at Nemesis here with its first drop. We're really not much to it at all and the fact it really builds the speed as it, go hey! <laughs> as it goes around this corner before dropping a little bit there before going into that first court screw. Such an amazing design, it really is. And yeah, obviously all the tracks being replaced from here so all the lift hill will remain in place and then yeah from there all the way through to the brake run is what's going to be replaced during this overhaul it's capturing the sights the sounds and the ambience here in Forbidden Valley. It won't be the same next year. The whole of Alton Towers won't feel the same next year without this operating. However, I'm so pleased that they're doing it. I really am. Looking after this ride for future generations to enjoy. And here she comes. Down into that first inversion. Beautiful. She's starting to struggle quite a bit now. She stopped halfway into the station just here, unfortunately. I'll tell you what, only a couple of days to go, but yeah, she's showing her age now, Nami. I'm glad that she's getting the work she deserves, though. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? At this time, Nemesis is experiencing a temporary delay.
two days of the season. I'm going to miss the Bees Nation. Oh, to be honest, I'm going to miss it too. To be honest, I'm really not too emotional though, because yes, it's a year out of Nemesis here at Alton Towers. But it's coming back. It's coming back, and it means it's going to be operating for many years Which to come. Which is really good. The fact that Miller Entertainment are looking after this very special and iconic ride, I really do appreciate it's great that. great to see. Don't get me wrong, Merlin do some great things and they do some poor things sometimes, but this is 100% the best decision. decision for Nemesis. It's an iconic ride. Alton Towers wouldn't be the park it is today Definitely without not. Nemesis, so I'm so glad they're doing the work, uh, and it needs it now, especially when it went down again there it's in the station. It is. I mean, it's his last couple of days. Fingers crossed it's all right for Sunday. Oh, I hope so. Hope he gets the send-off she deserves. We'll all watch the fireworks. We'll make our way down here Sunday. We'll have a nice dedicated vlog, oh. um, filming the last <laughs> few trains going round, uh, the competition winners that will be going on, and just basically capturing the atmosphere exactly. of the ride. Exactly, really nice. Yeah, 100%. But uh, there we go. Shortly, we're going to make our way down towards the lawns, have a little look at uh, the views Some for tonight. Dancing. Yeah, there's only a couple of hours until the show's going oh, to be starting. Yeah, five o'clock, we'll be straight down there for ignition. Looking yep. forward to that. Can't wait. With a dance show. Uh, we'll just have a few shots of Galactica, and then we'll head down that way, because obviously we focus on the coasters in this vlog, because the fireworks show is themed around the seven big coasters. It is indeed. It's funny that. They never mentioned Spinball Wizard, oh. Runaway Mine Train, or Octonaut. It's very they? sad. Yeah, the coasters are like, yeah, the seven big coasters, <laughs> even though there's ten here for now. But so, uh, yeah, it's quite funny that, it isn't is it? Indeed. Right, we'll make our way down that way shortly, get a bit of footage of Galactica. So we've made our way down here to the front lawns. Look at that sunset tonight here at Alton Towers. The sun going down on one of the final days of the season. It's very sad. But yeah, not long to go until we've got entertainment starting I'm on the really stage. Looking forward to it. From five o'clock. It'll be lovely. Charlotte's looking really cute with the fireworks yeah, out on there. Uh, Ready. It is chilly though, isn't it? it is. Tonight? Yeah. Thermals on, so it's all good. But yeah, all the screens came on recently, and yeah, as you can see, just got the Alton Towers logo on there for now. What I'd like to see them do, I mean they might do this, we don't know yet, it's night one, is actually film what's going on on the stage and put it on the four big so screens. That people can see it from all angles. Definitely, but uh, yeah, coming up in just a moment, we'll have some highlights from the entertainment. Definitely followed by the show here at Alton Towers. But yeah, we're just down here on the mound. I'd say this is probably the best place to view it because you can see uh, you're on the top of the hill here and it slopes down. Uh, and then yeah from here you get the view of all four screens and the towers as well you used to go on the rocks but it blocks the view of the towers now yeah that's the thing because this truss over here um, blocks that view so you're definitely better off down here bit of music going on <laughs> and then we'll have highlights coming up from the end shortly a bit more dancing here we go then so it's just turned five o'clock and it's time for ignition part of the pre-show for this year's event here at Alton Towers here's some highlights over the next couple of minutes. Oh, this is one of our favorite songs of the year, just here, Charlotte. And a bit of a dance. <laughs> Ignition back on the stage over there. We love this, don't we? <laughs> so catchy. But yeah, what they've actually done this year, they put smoke all the way around the arena as well, so the lighting looks better. Oh, what a setup. Really pumped for the show tonight. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Some highlights there from Ignition over on the stage here on the front lawns. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Very similar setup to last year, which is fantastic. And yeah, we've got less than an hour to go now until the show. And here we've got the relentless DJ taking us through until the show at seven o'clock. <laughs>
gets mad I hope that someone gets mad Alton Towers. You are about to witness the biggest musical event of the year. The Festival of Thrill, inspired by our phenomenal coasters. Now, let's hear it for your lineup. Nemesis. Rita Octavia Galactica Wicker Man and the Smiler Bolton Towers. Let me hear you scream. We're going to forget about our worries. We're going to forget about our troubles. Because tonight, we are going to blow the roof off! Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Then let's take it away! It's time to awake the Nemesis Monster. Clan of the Creature, put your hands in the air and get ready to rock! You just don't care. Sashay, take it away. to see will prepare you physically and psychologically for the most intense audio-visual experience ever devised. Don't look down.
intergalactic voyages. The time has come to take one giant leap into the cosmos. In my floating castle, I rock shoulders with the stars. Make yourselves known and come together. For tonight, we light the flames and summon the spirit of the Wicker Man. so glum. It's about time the Ministry of Joy put a smile on your face. These guys are gonna clean first. Let me take a selfie. to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for joining us here tonight and allowing us to take you on this musical journey. We're almost out of time, but would you like one more? I said, would you like one more? It's time to unleash the headliner. The one, the only, Alton Towers! A celebration of everyone coming together, including you. I'm trying to hold my breath like a wave. I say I will never be enough.
highlights there from the Alton Towers Ultimate Fireworks Spectacular 2022. So the show actually started with like a little drone show and I thought it was really good how they all sort of rose up from behind the towers. That was amazing. There was a gasp from the crowd when the drones Everyone came up. Like, oh my god. You've got to think drone technology is something that we've only really seen these past couple of years and Alton Towers have never done it before. That was the highlight of the show in my opinion. I've never seen a drone show before and I thought it was really nice. Yeah, it was absolutely beautiful. The fact he said Alton Towers and are you ready? We had a little coaster on there. And it moved oh, the coaster did, it was really It cute. was fantastic. That actually started just prior to the main show. It was about 6.55 yeah, when that was, started. Yeah. Oh, but that was beautiful. Lovely. What an addition um, to this year's fireworks. And then we're into the main event itself. We knew that the storyline was going to be based on the big roller coasters. I want to say storyline, there wasn't really an in-depth story to it this year. It was more just uh, Sir Algernon naming the different roller coasters and then having um, some music and fireworks to them. I thought visually the show was absolutely beautiful. Um, you can't beat some of them lasers, the screens and the fireworks all together as a package. However, um, we thought the soundtrack was a little bit lackluster this year actually. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of the songs. The best songs was the greatest showman section at the end. That was fantastic. But the other ones I wasn't a huge fan of. Yeah, I think the thing is they've gone for a, a rides themed show. However, they didn't use any of the actual no, soundtracks from the rides. Uh, and the past couple of years it hasn't been a full-on ride themed show but they've still had ride soundtracks it was just all yeah music. like last year we had like that epic i'm a score and like nemesis music which was brilliant uh, and the year before that the wicker man section we actually had the wicker man music know, but we didn't have yeah there was actually no custom themed audio in the show this year which uh, was a shame i mean the audio it would have been a lot to have topped last year that 90s that nostalgia music last year was um, so good. it was really emotional last year but uh yeah overall you're never going to beat the visuals of an Alton Towers display with the beautiful towers ruins lit up there behind us they are gorgeous and the setting here is great however um yeah the show didn't have enough emotion for me this no, year unfortunately I didn't enjoy it unfortunately no, I think uh, the firework quality um, was great. However, um, there wasn't quite as many bigger fireworks, I thought, this time. No, there was a lot of like lower to the ground fireworks, but they were still good and the lasers was fantastic. But oh, the lasers were yeah, amazing. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Yeah, the lasers were fantastic. Really yeah, I really enjoyed those. Uh, I think the fact that Alton Towers are still putting on such a display during the cost of living crisis, exactly. uh, we are really grateful of that Definitely. because they could have just said we're not doing anything. So we're really grateful that they did. Yeah, 100%. And I think, you know, when you come every year, you see these shows, uh, Alton Towers always out themselves i think this year the drones have stole the show oh, for us i really enjoyed the drones yeah definitely the drones were amazing but uh yeah i think it's just the soundtrack we're a little bit disappointed yeah, in this like year the uh, but the visuals of it were amazing to see uh fireworks i think they've cut back on a little bit uh, to add the drone technology in um, i think especially the hold them out in king finale which the soundtrack to that's always great even that felt a little bit lacking in fireworks I think tonight even in some sections there was a few gaps where there was no fireworks yeah that's the thing you know it wasn't the strongest year for fireworks this year uh how However, we got, uh, we got the drones, which was brilliant. And I think visually, um, it was amazing. The lasers, the lights, the screens, the pre-show entertainment. It's not just a, a 20 minute There's show now. You know, it's a full kind of two hour thing with the pre-shows, um, which is great. So overall, a brilliant show by Alton Towers. Not our favorite year. No. However, the use of drone technology um, is outstanding in our it opinion. It is indeed, I love it. Uh, just seeing them come from behind the towers was absolutely amazing. Fireworks are a great time to get on some rides in the dark. Wicker Man looking awesome there as well with all the theme lighting. 40 minute wait tonight to feed the flames. Look at the moon up there tonight as well. Good thing is the weather has been perfect for fireworks tonight. There was just a nice light breeze that blew away any smoke in the air, which was fantastic. Yeah, really good night for filming the fireworks. And of course, there's a full video on the channel as well. So make sure you check it out. Featuring the full show, obviously just the vlog was highlights where you can see the full show here on theme park worldwide as well wicker man feed the flames look at that beauty
last there of the legendary Nemesis roaring round the track before it closes for the overhaul next year. I oh, know, but it will be coming back. It will indeed. And yeah, talking of Nemesis, of course, we're going to be here on Sunday to find out exactly what Phalanx have got to say. Yeah, what's going to be going on? We know as soon as the fireworks end on Sunday night, there's going to be some kind of takeover from the Phalanx and there's going to be something happening down here at Nemesis after prior to the ride closing. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to have a full Nemesis vlog coming up dedicated to that, showing you everything that happens because I know a lot of people uh, that live a long way from Alton Towers, you know, and can't you come, always come down. Yeah, we'll document everything. So we'll have a new vlog kind of starting up from when the fireworks are ending through until Nemesis closing down here at the end. So yeah, that's going to be coming up. That'll be really good. Yeah, definitely. But uh, overall, it's always great to see a fireworks show here. Like we've said, the shows that Alton Towers do are huge scale. There's no other theme park in the world, even Disney, that does something with screens, lasers, drones, everything yeah, all together. Uh, and of course, with the Towers Ruins, which are gorgeous for displays. Uh, it was more just I would have liked some more theme music in yeah, there. Yeah, I completely agree. We've chatted to a lot of fans tonight as well afterwards, and everybody's kind of felt the same yeah, about it. Yeah, need some more theme music. Yeah, visually it was beautiful, but yeah, just a bit more theme music would have been good, and storyline. Personally, I would have liked to have seen them gone more down the route of basing it on whatever's happening to Jewel yeah, for next year. Yeah, that would have been really good. I mean, that would have been nice. And back in the day, the stories used to be a bit more imaginative. So I think the technology's got better over the years, but the stories the story used to be better than the audio was. So maybe we can see that return. We've got big projects happening in these next few years. The jewel refurbishment, Nemesis, of course, coming back, and along with that, Projects Horizon. So they've got three big things that they could base storylines on exactly. for future shows. But if you come in here, you'll have a brilliant time, especially if you've never seen an Alton Towers display before. Um, this certainly isn't the weakest year. However, it's not our favourite year either. Um, it's just a kind of mid-ranger, beautiful show to watch and I'm looking forward to seeing it again tomorrow night because I'm hoping there might be a few more fireworks yeah sometimes the Friday night you don't get loads yeah. like not all it's the fireworks the yeah so hopefully you know on the other nights especially the Sunday night we might see a bit of a different ending with the Nemesis takeover I don't know something's happening on the lawns first we know that and then we're down to uh, Nemesis so that's all coming up in the next vlog here on the channel thank you very much for watching I really do appreciate your support as always and that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there, there and keep on, on riding. riding see you all in the Nemesis vlog <laughs>